Hello, St. Paul family. For those of you that do not recognize me, my name is Gary Yonke. My family and I have been members of St. Paul Lutheran Ministries for over 30 years. Over the course of our time with the church, we have deepened our connections with God, our pastors, and so many of you wonderful members of the congregation. We've been incredibly blessed to be part of such a loving, tight-knit community. Let's head inside and I'll tell you a new way to further strengthen these connections and our sense of community. In today's world, we all know technology can be a major distraction. Whether you're leveling up on Candy Crush or wasting time scrolling through Facebook, it's easy to get pulled into our devices. Fortunately, technology can also be a powerful tool used for good. That's why I'm here to introduce you to the new Church Center app, the new digital hub for all things St. Paul. Take a seat with me and let's explore the app together. To get started, grab your device and open up the App Store or Google Play Store. Once you've done this, click on the search bar and type in Church Center. The app we're looking for is called Church Center App. Install this app and open it once the download is complete. Now that you're in, it's time to get set up with your account. Let's begin by clicking Get Started. Next, click Use My Location. You'll be greeted by a list of local churches. As you can see, our church doesn't seem to be listed. Don't worry, just scroll down a bit until you find St. Paul Lutheran Ministries. This one here is what we're looking for, so let's click on it and then click the button that says, this is my church. To create your account, just type your phone number into the box here. After you've entered your number, Church Center will text you a verification code. Enter the code, hit next, and voila, your Church Center account is ready to go. Just click the login button here, enable Face ID if you wish, and then choose whether or not you'd like the app to send you notifications. I like to be up to date with everything going on in our church, so I'll choose to allow notifications. Perfect, now we're in. When you enter the app, you'll be greeted by the homepage. And here you'll find our mission statement, as well as a number of powerful resources made available to all of you. This includes prayer requests, scriptural comfort, and many additional interactive resources. Next up, we have the giving tab. Think of this tab as a digital offering basket. From here, we can enter the amount that we would like to give and then choose where we would like our offering to go. As you can see, our church has quite a few different funds. If you're unsure about where you would like your offering to go, we recommend giving to the general fund. This ensures that your gift is used where needed most. And once you've selected the fund you'll be giving to, you can choose the frequency of your gift and which payment method you will be using, bank account, credit card, or debit card. As far as frequency of donation, you can certainly choose one time, but reoccurring is the way to go. Set it to recurring so you don't have to worry about forgetting. The Giving tab is especially incredible because it allows you as a cheerful giver to share your gifts whether you attended a worship service in person or not. It's really that simple. Also, if you click on My Giving tab, you will be able to view your giving history and update your payment methods. So there you have it the basics of Church Center. Keep in mind, we barely scratched the surface of this powerful connection tool. I encourage you all, if you haven't already, to download the app and experience how easy it is to connect with and give back to St. Paul Ministries. By the way, this video and the other Church Center instructional videos will be posted to the St. Paul website and Facebook page. Feel free to review frequently. Take your time and get acquainted with how you can deepen your connection with all things St. Paul. Thank you in advance for embracing a new and effective way to support St. Paul.